Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Selects Academy at South Kent School 15 National Ice Hockey on YouTube. This evening, the Academy getting set to take on the U15 New Hampshire Avalanche. It's game three of the 2017 New England District Ice Hockey Tournament from the Hotchkiss School in Lakeville, Connecticut. Good evening, everybody. I'm Wells Aiken. Glad you're with us on YouTube this evening for this Selects Academy at South Kent School 15 national game against the U15 New Hampshire Avalanche. The Academy, of course, coming off a tough 4-3 loss to the Yale U15 Junior Bulldogs this morning by a score of 4-3. The Academy needing to win tonight to advance to tomorrow's championship game. If they and Yale both take care of business, it will be a rematch of this morning's tilt. The New Hampshire Avalanche getting here by virtue of being the New Hampshire state champions. They beat the Northern Cyclones to get here, and the Avalanche only play in the Yale Bulldogs among the Connecticut Hockey Conference teams, as you see there, losing by a score of 7 to nothing back on September 30th at the Yale Showcase. The Academy, of course, going 8-0-0 in conference play, and they had 50 goals for and 7 goals against. New Hampshire losing last night to Yale also by a 7-0 score, and again this morning to mid-Fairfield by a score of 11-1. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Academy. The Academy, of course, coached by head coach Scott Ganey and assistant coach John O'Connor. In goal for the Academy, number one, Bennett Jung, number 31, Tommy Aiken. At forward, number 11, Ryan Mcnich, number nine, Victor Chinek and Aaron, number 15, Jack Williams, number 10, Colin Anna, number 14, Nick DeSantis, number 19, Will Rinaldi, number 16, Justin Gordon, number 22, Jake Stapert, number 29, Jack Gordon, number 24, Jaden Boreanis, number 37, Felix Gavers, and number 26, Tyler Silverstein. Anchoring the blue line for the Academy, number three, Charlie DeRoche, number four, Caden Varga, number 20, Austin Cook, number seven, Frank Jurasevich, number six, Josh Steele, and still injured, number five, Aiden Erishman. Let's take a look at the leaders for the Academy. Point leaders, Nick DeSantis, Victor Chenecadere, and Jack Williams. Goal scoring leaders for the Academy, DeSantis, Chenecadere, Williams, Rinaldi, and Gordon. Assist leaders, DeSantis, Williams, Chenecadere, DeRoche, and Gordon. And Tommy Aiken leading all goaltenders coming into the weekend with a .92 goals against average and a .947 save percentage. Those numbers will go up after this morning's 4-3 loss to Yale. Let's take a look now at our Kings of the Hill. This is our cross-sectional look at all three academy teams, U15, U16, and U18. Lawrence, DeSantis, Margell, Chinek, and Aaron Williams are your top five goal scorers. And you also see some U18 names starting to creep up on this list. Kyle Haskins checking in six with 31 points on the season. Ruben Rafkin from the U16s leading all defensemen with 27 points. And three U18 players rounding out the top 10 in a tie with 24 points. Pinto, Hutchinson, and Sullivan. Goal scoring leaders, Margell, DeSantis, Chedekadere, Lawrence, Williams, and Phillips. Assist leaders, Lawrence, DeSantis, Rafkin, Haskins, and Hutchinson. Save percentage and goals against leaders are the same. Sankner, Aiken, and Jung in that order. Let's take a look at the New Hampshire Avalanche roster. They're coached by Brian Saucier and Steve Kavalik, managed by Brian Burke. Their lone goaltender, number 40, Colin Friedis. He's a southpaw. The forwards for the Avalanche, number three, Michael Montanil. Number four, Sean Donahue. Number 10, Brady Burke. Number 11, Ryan Sweeney. Number 13, John O'Hoynes. Number 16, Cameron Wasilak. Number 17, Ethan Burgess. Number 51, Cole Robinson. And number 86, Justin Pugsley. Aggering the blue line for the Avalanche, number six, Cameron Levesque. Number eight, Dominic Ciccatelli. Number 14, Brendan Doyle. Number 33, Ben Brown. And number 97, Joseph Walsh. Let's take a look at the top 20 U15 teams. Blades, Sabres, Caesars Academy, Blues, Mission Grizzlies, Coalition, Wisconsin, and Moose round out your top 10. Chicago Young Americans and Honeybake rounding out the top 20. Looking at the opponent rankings, New Hampshire, the weakest team the Academy will face this weekend as they come in ranked 86 in the country with a rating of 87.02. And taking a look at all three midget tiers, 15 Nationals ranked number four, 16 Nationals ranked number nine, and the 18 Nationals hanging on to the number two spot. We'll take a quick break here, and we'll be back in just a second with the start of the game and the opening face-off in just a minute. You're watching Slex Academy 15 National Ice Hockey on YouTube. Stay with us, everybody.
Back here with the pregame warm-ups. Comedy of errors here at the New England District Tournament as this game was almost moved to Berkshire at 8 o'clock. Then it was going to be played on the Olympic rink. I believe the coaches asked if it could be moved to the NHL rink. And then that was okayed by the rink, but apparently New England District officials want this game played on the Olympic rink. So we had to scramble and get from the the NHL rink down to the Olympic rink, and we just barely got on the air here, but we made it, and uh, we are set to go here. And speaking of barely, the New Hampshire Avalanche roster 14 players and one goalie, and as I look to my right on the ice, they are down to 10 players, it looks like, unless I'm counting wrong, two, four, six, eight, ten 10 players and one goalie. So, and then to top it all off, the Mid-Fairfield game that is supposed to be taking place with the Yale Bulldogs on the other rink here at Hotchkiss School doesn't appear to currently be being played here. I don't know whether that game was moved to the Berkshire School or if that game was canceled. So, uh, we will get you more information on that as we find out about it. But uh, interesting happenings here at the New England District Tournament. Uh, you'll notice I'm being careful not to make any commentary, just reporting the facts as they are. So we will find out what's going on here as the Academy gathers the pucks. Bennett Jung in the circle there, stretching and getting warm to, to get going here. He'll get the start tonight. And normally I'm not sure who's starting for the other team, but Colin Friedis is the only goalie for the North New Hampshire Avalanche. So... It is likely, I suppose, that he would get the start. <laughs> we'll see what the game has in store for us here. The Academy, of course, losing earlier today to the Yale Junior Bulldogs by a score of 4-3. to three. Just the Academy's third loss on the season. And we will see here what the Academy has in store this evening as they send out Chinookanair, Williams, and Gordon. And off the draw, the Academy will control Durasevich. Sends it near side now for Cook. Comes down low for Williams. Cook will handle it there and he will dump it in deep. And Williams behind the net. Williams with the puck. Williams will send it back to the point. Cross point for Cook. Cook's pass shot in towards Chernuk and Air is deflected in behind the goal. Come all the way out to the point to Durasevich. And Justin Gordon will skate down the Right wing side, however, that'll go for icing. We're going to stop it here and a face off back in the avalanche end. 16 25 left to go here in period number one. No score from the Hotchka school. Miknich stepping in on the draw. Shot in on goal. Friedis with the save. Another shot in on goal there, and the academy scores. That is Will Rinaldi with the goal, and the Academy up one to nothing. Just 41 seconds into this hockey game, and a somewhat muted celebration for the Academy. Stepping in on the draw is the is Mikic. He sends it to Rinaldi. Rinaldi back for Steele. Steele sends it up the right wing side for Stabert. And Brown will handle it there for the Avalanche. He will dump it in far side and Steele will chase for the Academy. Up the left wing side now comes the Academy. This is Miknich along with Stabert. Stabert in over the zone line. And we'll come back almost up out of the zone to the blue line. Rinaldi will chase there in deep. As the Avalanche having trouble getting out of their zone here, the Academy. We'll regroup at center as that puck is pushed back for Varga. Varga sends it left wing side for Steele. Steele sends it up ahead, and the Academy will come in over the zone line. Moving in is Gavers, and Gavers shoots and scores. And it is 2-0 Academy, 15-33, left to go here in period number one. Face off at center ice, DeSantis, Silverstein, and Gavers out there. Gavers and Rinaldi with the goals so far for the Academy as they lead 2-0 here. 
DeRoche. Sends it right wing side for Silverstein. Silverstein down the right wing side. Silverstein in over the zone line. And that puck rolls it on Friedis, and he will cover up and hang on. Stoppage here, 15-15. Left to go in period number one. Face off to the left of Friedis. Comes back to Durasevich at the point. Durasevich with a shot through a screen. Friedis will turn that aside and DeRoche will pinch left wing side. The Avalanche will control there. And then the puck will come back out to center where Jack Gordon will send it near side for Durasevich. Durasevich punts it far corner. Anna will chase down there. Anna battling in the corner for the Academy. He battles there with Levesque. Puck back to the point to DeRoche. Cross point for Durasevich. Durasevich with a shot. Blocker saved by Friedis. And in the corner, Boreanis and Gorton battling along with Colin Anna. That puck will come back down the left wing side where Wasilak is unable to get control of the puck. And DeRoche will chase it in the near side corner. DeRoche in behind Jung. Boreanis, near side corner. Near side, near side rather. Doyle. Moving through center for the Avalanche. He'll dump that in on goal, and Bennett Jung gets his first shot on goal. He will flag that down and leave it. Comes up the left wing side for Justin Gordon. Gordon coming down with Williams. Gordon, Gordon moving in around the corner, goes around the net. Gordon circling, near side half wall. Leaves it there for Varga at the point. Varga will walk in down the right wing side. Varga leaves it in the corner. Centering pass is blocked out in front. Puck will come back to Varga at the point. Cross point now for Steele. Steele moving in. Centering pass. Williams looks to tip that. That goes wide. Williams will chase into the corner. That was Gordon in front looking to tip that. Now Williams. Williams sends it back to Steele. Steele walks in. That's turned aside by Freitas. Comes back to Varga. Varga will send it down low. Chernuck and Air now near side half wall. He turns it deeper for Gordon. Gordon leaves it for Williams. Williams back to Gordon. Gordon walking down the slot, leaves it for Steele. Steele with a shot, and Friedis with a glove save. He will hang on 13-11 left to go here from the Dwyer Rink at the Hotchie School in Lakeville, Connecticut. The Academy on top, 2 to nothing. Rinaldi and Gavers with the goals. As the Academy will send out Mignich, Stapert, and Rinaldi. Off the draw, the Avalanche will come out of the zone to center. Puck turned over there. Austin Cook will control momentarily, but he'll lose possession to Wasilak. And now Cook in the near side corner. Cook going in behind Jung. Cook, left wing side. Gives it up for Miknich. Miknich coming in over the zone line. Miknich with a shot. That is blocked. He'll chase that into the corner. And now Stapert battling there. Stapert gains possession. Comes off the wall. Tries to go through the legs. No sail there. And DeRoche will Pitch down low and send it deeper for the Academy. Miknich turns it deeper for Rinaldi. Rinaldi navigating traffic there, an avalanche defender and the referee. And that puck will roll all the way down in on And now the Academy coming back the other way. Rinaldi coming down the left wing side. Rinaldi with a shot and Friedis will smother and hang on there. We'll get another stoppage here. 12-11 left to go in the opening period, the Academy on top, 2-2-0. Two, two, DeSantis stepping in, Gavers there. Also Gordon out there for the Academy. Varga and Steele at the points. That puck is sent in wide of Jung. Varga will go back to retrieve for the Academy. Puck comes up the left wing wall. DeSantis overskates it there. DeSantis now will control and come out of the zone for the Academy. DeSantis, near side boards, turns the puck over through center. Varga will pick it up there and send it cross rink for Steele. Steele moving in. Steele walking down low. Centering pass. That shot in on goal by Gordon. Friedis with the save. And now Gordon, near side corner, will send it deeper for DeSantis. DeSantis. And the Academy will chase down low in the corner. 
That puck will come back to Varga. Varga will send that puck wide of goal. And that will come back now for Steele. Steele sends it deeper. And that is DeSantis coming off the wall. DeSantis down low looking for Bar Varga pinching from the point. And now Gavers behind the goal. Gavers. Gavers gives it to Gordon. Gordon circling there, leaves it for Gavers. Gavers has DeSantis up top. DeSantis now overskates the puck, and the Avalanche will come up and out of the zone. That is Montanil, and that puck is turned over there, and back the other way comes DeSantis moving in. DeSantis, and DeSantis has that puck knocked off his stick at the last minute as he was trying to go forehand, backhand on Freitas, and Pugsley will take it now for the Avalanche. Silverstein pushes it further ahead, but that's controlled by... Brown. Brown sends it near side for Pugsley, and he will dump it deep for the Avalanche. Jung will field there, and Jung will leave it for Cook. Cook sends it further for Borianis. Now Cook will retake and give to Durasevich. Durasevich looking up the right wing side, has Silverstein. Silverstein chips it off the wall to Anna. Silverstein bodied off the puck there, and now Anna will come right wing side. Anna skating down the right wing side. Anna moving it over the zone line. His shot is blocked aside by Freitas. Anna. Sends it back to the point to Durasevich. Durasevich sends it cross point for Cook. Cook will send it down low to Borianis. Borianis in the corner, sending it up further for Anna. Anna skating in behind Freitas, gives it back to Borianis. Borianis in the corner, chips it up the wall, and that's taken by Donahue, and he will just chip it back to center as Durasevich now will give for Cook. Austin Cook moving in over the zone line. Cook skating in. He tries to go around two defenders. He's bodied off there. And Cook upended there in the quarter, no call. And now Donahue will send it back to center. And Burke will chip it deeper for the Avalanche. Durasevich in the corner, he's hooked there. And now Borianis in the corner. Puck will come back to the point there. And that is Brown setting it deeper for the Avalanche, Brown with a shot in on goal. Jung turns that one aside. And now Cook in the corner. Sends it up and not out of the zone. They say that stayed in. Kept in there by Doyle. Doyle skating down low. He's challenged by Cook. Cook now gains possession and turns it over for Anna. And Anna will bang it hard off the glass and send it all the way down. We'll get an icing call here. 8.48 left to go first period. The Academy on top, 2 to nothing. Goals by Rinaldi and Gavers. Face off to the right of Jung. And off the draw, Williams will chip it ahead for Gordon. Justin Gordon streaking down the left wing side. Gordon moving in, he pulls up. Full circle and look for options. He sends it back to the point. That's Steele back for Gordon. Gordon pressured there and Gordon losing possession of the puck there and the avalanche will Skate hard in the zone, but Josh Steele gets back. And he knocks Montadillo off the puck there. Puck will come back up out of the zone. And that's sent up further for Williams, but that rolls off of his stick. And Brown will backhand it out of the zone for the Avalanche. The Academy sends it into the zone now. Justin Gordon chips it off the wall for Williams. Williams near side, half wall. Williams coming out of the corner. Williams. Back for Steele. Steele will chip it in deeper. Gordon centering it for Chinek and Air, but that goes behind the goal. Chinek and Air takes now. Chinek and Air sends it back to the point. That too far for Steele. And Steele will send it over for Varga, who gives to Williams. Williams curling at center. Williams picking up ahead of steam. Williams coming in over the line leaves for Gordon. Gordon centering for Chinek and Air. That pass too far. And Durasevich pitching down low will take. Far side wall and leave for Williams. Williams coming off the wall with a stick handle. Williams at a shot, and Freitas turned that aside. And that'll come to Justin Gordon now. Gordon back for Chidekadair. Chidekadair with a shot. That'll go wide. And Gordon leaves it for Williams. And now Justin Gordon walking to the middle. Williams will take. Williams with a backhand. That puck is loose, chipped over the goal. And now Williams will take in behind. Williams coming off the wall. Williams will walk through center and has the puck knocked off his stick. He will retreat to center and regroup for the academy. That'll come right wing side now for Mignich. Mignich in over the zone line. Mignich sends it across, looking for a pinching Charlie DeRoche. And the Avalanche content just to bang that puck off the glass and send it back to center. 
Durasevich now down the right wing boards. Durasevich sends it in front, and a massive collision in front there as Will Rinaldi was hauled down going to the goal and taken right into Colin Freitas. And we'll get a stoppage here. 8.41 left to go here in the first period. 2-0 Academy, goals by Gavers and Rinaldi. Rinaldi's been in the net twice tonight, once by himself and once with the puck. <laughs> as he put himself into the goal on that play there. Coming back to the point now, it goes for Durasevich. He shoots it in, that's tipped, and Freitas turns out aside with the left pad. Comes back to the point now, Durasevich. Durasevich leaves it for Miknich, and right pad stop by Freitas. Pass across now, and Durasevich will send it down low. And Stapert now will chip it deeper for the Academy. Rinaldi battling in the corner. Sends it further for Miknich. Miknich in the corner, far corner. Gets to the half wall and turns it back for Rinaldi. Rinaldi loses the puck momentarily, but regroups and skates out of the corner. Puck turned away there by Doyle for the Avalanche. And that puck will come near side now. Where Stapert will keep it in for the Academy. Stapert chips it further, but doesn't get past the second defender there. And the Avalanche will chip it up and out of the zone, and Donahue will chase for the Avalanche as Rinaldi retrieves and gives it to Stapert. Stapert sending it around the boards. That over for DeRoche. DeRoche headmans for Rinaldi. Rinaldi gains the red line and sends it deep into the zone. Avalanche will retrieve there and look to come out of the zone. DeSantis. And that puck is sent back in deep for Varga. Varga gives it up for Gordon. Gordon chips it off the wall. That into some skates, but he continues with the puck and now will come up and out of the zone. DeSantis now moving it over the blue line, has that puck knocked off his stick, and Pugsley will come back the other way for the Avalanche. He gives it to Donahue. Donahue turns it over there and sends it right side now. The Academy does for Gordon. Gordon coming in over the zone line. Gordon with a shot from a sharp angle. That goes off a brown stick into the far corner, and Gavers will control for the Academy. Gavers with one of two goals so far tonight for the Academy. And... That puck will be knocked out of the zone. The Academy will regroup there as DeSantis will take at center and curl over the large H of center ice for the Hotchka School and come into the zone left-hand side. DeSantis centering for Gorton. That goes under his stick and comes near side. Now Pugsley sending it in behind the goal, and Brown will take there for the Avalanche. Brown coming up the right wing side. And now Steele will take at center and skate back into the zone for the Academy. Josh Steele. Steele in the right wing corner. Steel Hall down there, and we're going to get a call there. <laughs> and certainly some things that could have been called before that one, but <laughs> we'll take it there. 4-13 is some mock cheers from the Avalanche parents calling that a <laughs> good call. Some good lines coming from our right. Good call there, and then, of course, bring the fire earlier was heard <laughs> in the stands. To the left of Colin Freitas will be the faceoff, and... Uh, Janek and Air, Williams, and DeSantis out there with DeRoche and Durasevich on the points. Off the draw, Williams will control for the Academy as they look to set up here on the power play. DeRoche. DeRoche sends it down low for William. Check that. Janek and Air. Far side for DeSantis. Just DeSantis back to Janek and Air. And Janek and Air had the top shelf wide open, but Colin Freitas turns that aside with the blocker. So 146 left to go on the penalty, 359 left to go in the period, and the Academy on top, two to nothing. Puck cleared by the Avalanche all the way down on Jung, and Jung will field there and leave for DeRoche. DeRoche in behind Jung. He will leave it there for DeSantis as Diesel accelerates through center. Diesel coming over the blue line. DeSantis with one stick handle too many, but recovers the puck in the near side corner. DeSantis. Moving to center. DeSantis with a nice move. He shoots. And Freitas got a piece of that. It sends that wide where Durasevich will retrieve along the far side half wall. DeSantis sends it further in the zone for Williams. Williams in the far side corner. Williams walking up the wall. He's hooked, hounded, and held there as Durasevich will battle along the wall. And Williams will step up, but that puck goes through his legs back to center, and DeRoche will chase for the academy. Charlie DeRoche in behind Bennett Jung. And Victor Chedekadere is there for the Academy. Chedekadere 
Leaves it for DeRoche. DeRoche will skate through center. Charlie DeRoche coming in over the zone line. He leaves it for Williams. Williams skating in now. Top of the circle. Williams. Williams waits. Williams sends it down low. Pat, 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 puck set back to the point as DeRoche tried to hit DeSantis down low. And now Chernek and Air and DeSantis battling in the far corner. Chip further ahead. Williams. And that puck is hit with a high stick. And that's going to come all the way back down into the zone as we'll get a high sticking call here on the academy and that will come all the way back down to the right side of Bennett Jung. And a lot of low energy in this building here tonight, so the academy is going to have to pick up the pace. Face off to the left. Gavers wins that easily. Sends it back for Rinaldi. Rinaldi in behind Jung. Jung sends it up for Cook. Cook right wing side. Cook stick handles. And that puck rolls it on Fritas. He'll cover up and hang on. Nine seconds left on the Academy power play. 2.22 left to go here in period number one. And the face off coming to the left of Fritas as Gavers will step in. Gordon and... Mikic out there for the academy with Cook and Rinaldi at the point. Cook will handle that puck there. Cook walking to the middle. He sends it over for Rinaldi. Rinaldi back for Cook. Cook sends it over for Gavers. Gavers fans on the shot. And walking off the wall is Justin Gordon. Gordon sends it down low. Pass in front for Gavers and that's shanked wide as Cook will handle in the near side corner. Austin Cook now for the academy. Cook sends it back to the point. And that's turned deeper for Justin Gordon. Gordon handles the puck there. Gordon walking in. Gordon coming off the wall. Gordon waiting, shooting. And that's covered up by Fritas to his left as he blocked that shot down by Justin Gordon, found it, and covered up. Face off to the left of Fritas. 144 left to go here in the opening period. The Academy on top. Two to nothing goals by Rinaldi and Gavers. The Academy will send out Silverstein, Stapert, and Anna with Varga and Steele. And off the draw, puck in everybody's feet, and the Avalanche. No, the Academy will come up with the puck. Varga sends that across for Steele, but Burke was waiting there, and Steele backed off, not wanting to let Burke end up on an odd man rush. Along the far wall, the Academy, Steele. Sends it down low. And comes back to the point to Steele. Shot in on goal. That is blocked out high and goes off some skates, goes far corner. And now Anna along the far wall. And that puck is chipped back to center and Varga will chase for the academy. Varga coming through center. Vargas sends it left wing side now. Anna down the left wing side for the academy. His shot is blocked off there. Near side now. Stapert comes back to Varga. And Varga gives to Stapert. Stapert now back to the point to Steele. Steele back for Varga. Varga challenge there. And Brown now for the avalanche. He's pressured there in behind the goal by Stapert, but will turn it back near side for Doyle. Doyle sends it up to center for Robinson. Robinson skating through center. Robinson coming over the zone line. Leaves it for Varga. Varga gives to Silverstein. Silverstein back in the zone with 14 seconds left in the period. The Avalanche will turn it over there. And back through center. The Academy will control. They'll chip it back for Durasevich. Durasevich chips it off the wall for Gordon. And that should do it here in the first period as the Academy with two goals by Rinaldi and Gavers leads 2-0. We'll take a break here. Glad you're with us this evening on YouTube watching Select Academy 15 National Ice Hockey. Back with second period action in just a few minutes.
back here at the Dwyer Rink at Hotchkiss School. The Academy on top, two to nothing. And coming in over the zone line is the Academy. Moving in shot there. That's blocked to the corner. That was Gordon coming down the right wing side. Gordon now will send it deeper in the corner. And now DeSantis will control for the Academy. He sends it back to the point to DeRoche. And now back for DeSantis. DeSantis walking off the wall. Sends it in front as Gordon tries to go backhand, forehand, and is unable to find the handle. No think a shot ever got in there on Freitas. And back the other way comes the Avalanche, three on two. And that is Robinson there as he sends it around. That puck comes out in front, and back through center comes the Academy. That goes off a Avalanche skate. That's off the skate of Ciccatelli. And near side corner now, DeRoche will chip it in further. <coughs> Avalanche player goes down there as DeSantis comes off the wall. DeSantis with, with a shot that goes off the left pad of Freitas and into the right side corner. Far side corner. Durasevic now sends it back for DeRoche. DeRoche sends it down low for Durasevic. Durasevic walking off the wall. That is tipped in and redirected on Freitas. He will easily cover up and hang on here. 15.50 left to go in this second period. And the academy still on top, 2 to nothing. Face off to the left of Freitas. As Chinek and Air steps in for the Academy. That puck will come up the right wing side. And Burke will handle it there momentarily. But now the Academy will control and Williams skating down the left wing wall. Jack Williams for the Academy. As that puck comes back to Varga. And that goes beyond Varga, and he will chase back into the academy end, turning it over for Steele. Steele picks it up there, sends it up to Gordon. Gordon turns that promptly over, but the Avalanche give it right back to Chudek and Air. Chudek and Air down the right wing side. Victor Chudek and Air centering for Williams. Williams with a shot that goes off skates. And skating out of the zone is Levesque. Turned over there, and Chudek and Air coming back in the zone with Williams. Chudek and Air to Williams. Williams waiting, gives it to Chudek and Air. And Chudek and Air redirects the pass wide of Freitas. As a golden opportunity there on a 2 on 0 for the Academy. Back now comes Chudakadere skating down the middle. Chudakadere with a shot, and that goes off the shoulder of Freitas. Now Gordon. Gordon sending it down low. And now Varga will take it off the wall, and he'll lose control there and take it back to center. Varga, near side, sends it up for Gordon. Gordon for Chudakadere. Chudakadere skating it over the zone line, gives to Williams. Williams now, Gordon takes Gordon with a shot. And a glove save there by Freitas. He will hang on here with 14.32 left to go in the opening period. Check that in the middle period in the Academy on top. Two to nothing. Gavers and Rinaldi with the goals for the Academy. Colin Anna stepping in on the draw for the Academy. Anna out there with Bory, Anderson, Silverstein, Duras, Savage, and Cook at the points. And now the Avalanche will control in behind Freitas momentarily. And now Anna takes leaves for Silverstein. Silverstein sends it out front. That puck turned to the boards where Cook will control for the Academy. Cook skates it and leaves it there for Durasevich. Durasevich down the right wing side. Durasevich with a shot. That's sticked aside by Freitas. That goes far side corner. Anna. Anna coming off the wall. Anna gives it to Durasevich. Durasevich sends it down low. Shot in on goal. That goes off the shoulder of Freitas, up and out of play. We'll get a face-off to the left of Colin Freitas. 13.56 left to go here in period number two in the Academy on top, two to nothing. <coughs> face-off to the left of Freitas. And Anna with a shot, rebound, and the Academy scores there. Tyler Silverstein with the goal. As the Academy gets a quick win off the draw. Pushed ahead, Colin Anna gets a shot on goal, and Silverstein pots that goal to make it 3-0 for the Academy. 13.53 left to go here in period number two. And the Academy extends their lead to 3-0. 
Mignich, Rinaldi, and Stapert out there now. Steele in the zone. Steele sends it left wing side for Rinaldi. Rinaldi chips it hard off the glass and in the zone. That'll go into the corner. Chase down there by Stapert, and now Mignich joins. Stapert near side wall. Stapert chips it back for Mignich. Mignich coming off the wall. Mignich with a shot through a screen. Rebound. And a goal there as Will Rinaldi picks up his second goal of the game, picking up the junk in front, and he deposited his pass, Freitas. 13-25 left period number two, and the Academy now on top, four to nothing. So a couple of indirect passes off the pad to the far side. First for Silverstein and then for Rinaldi. Rinaldi now with two in the game, Gavers and Silverstein for that 4 nothing Academy lead. 13-25 left to go here as Mignich steps in on the draw against Robinson for the Academy, and Stapert will skate up the right wing side. Stapert in over the zone line, down below the goal line. He will skate in behind Freitas. Stapert with the puck, sends it back for Steele. Steele sends it down low. Mignich in behind for Rinaldi. Rinaldi chips it back to the point, shot for the point. Puck loose in front. That'll go around behind the goal. Puck will come back to the point now for Varga. Varga sends it down low for Mignich. Staper now will chase near side wall. Varga will send a shot in. That's redirected by Rinaldi. He will take control near side now. Gives to Steele. Steele sends it down the wall. And Staper, Rinaldi. Rinaldi coming off the wall. Rinaldi walking in. Rinaldi tries to go short side. Saved by Freitas. And now Mignich circling in behind the goal. The puck will get set near side now. Back for Varga. Varga down low. Back door for Stapert and Stapert fans on the shot there and the Avalanche will look to come up and out of the zone. Varga plays it like a short stop and gloves it ahead to himself and then chips it on up to center. The Avalanche will turn it back into the zone and now Steele will skate in behind Jung. Puck turned over there as Steele not able to gain possession. Centering pass but a nice play there by Varga to take for the Academy and he gives for DeSantis. DeSantis moving in over the zone line. DeSantis with a shot. That blocker to side by Colin Freitas. And that puck will come back through center as the Avalanche will send that in wide of Jung. And Anna, check that Cook, will set it up the left wing wall and the Avalanche will dump it back in deep. Centering pass there and the net is off and we're going to get a stoppage here. 11.39 left to go, second period of the Academy on top. Four to nothing, Rinaldi with two, Gavers with a goal, and Silverstein with a tally as well. <coughs> and didn't get a final on that. Academy U16 score against the Northern Cyclones, a team that the 15s had beaten earlier in the year, two to nothing at the Junior Bruin shootout. Last check, the 16s were on top of the Northern Cyclones by a score of eight to one. And I believe that was probably the final. Not sure if there were any additional goals scored as we didn't see the final there. Gavers along the near side boards. Chips it ahead for DeSantis. DeSantis coming up the left wing side. DeSantis skating it around. DeSantis with a move. Drops the shoulder. Walks in front. Tries to go short side. And Freitas leans into that one and blockers it aside with his right shoulder. As now the puck will come back to Charlie DeRoche. DeRoche skating down the right wing side. DeRoche for Gavers. Gavers with a pass. That goes off some skates. And Gavers with another shot there as he regains possession. And along the far wall, the Academy will control. Centering pass for DeRoche, and that goes off the left pad of Freitas. Not sure he ever saw that, but makes the save anyway. And now Cook will come back with three avalanche all over him, but he will skate in behind Jung and make a pass up the right wing boards. Now DeSantis coming back through center. DeSantis coming over the line. DeSantis with a shot, and that's gloved by Freitas. He will hang on to that puck there and get a stoppage with 10.27 left to go here. In the second period, the Academy on top, four to nothing. Off the draw, that'll come near side now. And Varga will chase there for the Academy. He'll give it to Steele. That pass almost picked off there. And now Steele will chase it back into the zone. Josh Steele for the Academy as we hit the 10 minute mark of the second period in behind the goal. <coughs> are the Avalanche. Justin Gordon left wing side now. 
Gordon chips it up the wall. And that puck will come back. And now as Trudek and Air will set it up for Williams. Jack Williams moving in. Williams with a backhand, and that goes wide of the goal. Williams in behind the net now. Williams will stick handle there and look to come out of the corner. Williams turns it back for Trudek and Air. Trudek and Air off the wall. Trudek and Air down low for Gordon, and that goes cross crease all the way to the far side of the ice. Gordon now looking to give it back to Williams. That'll come all the way back to the point shot. That's turned aside by Freitas. Gordon will take, send it back to the point now. Another shot by Varga. That redirected by Trudek and Air, and that was loose momentarily, but Freitas will find the puck, cover up, and hang on. 9-17 left to go here in period number three. The Academy on top by a score of 4 to nothing. Rinaldi with two. Gavers with a goal, and Silverstein with a goal as well. Gavers with the hot hand this weekend. Multiple goals so far. As the Academy steps in on the draw, that is Silverstein. He'll win it over for Boreanis. That'll come back to the point. Shot in on goal. That turned aside by Freitas. Gordon now. Check that Silverstein now. Sends it back to the point. That's set down low for Boreanis. Boreanis with a shot. Blocker to side by Freitas. Puck is loose in front. And now the Avalanche will control. And that will come back out of the zone as Burke turns it over there. Boreanis will take it and send it deep into the zone. That puck will come loose. And they're going to say no goal there as the net was off. So we'll get a whistle and a face off to the left of Colin Freitas. Not much doubt about that one there. As that net was almost perpendicular to the end boards. And Silverstein will stay out there with Boreanis and Anna. Durasevich and DeRoche out on the points for the academy. As it looks like Coach Scott Ganey looking for an explanation there. I don't know what that's about, but uh, it's pretty obvious, but <laughs> maybe confused with the college rule where they can call it a goal even if the net is off if they felt that uh, the puck would have gone in anyway. In any event, Colin Anna sends it back to the point to DeRoche. DeRoche far side. Back door for Anna, and Anna has that puck bounce over his stick. Anna in the corner now. Anna will circle, and he'll send it deeper, turns it over to the avalanche there. And they will try to come back through center, but now DeRoche will pick it up for the academy. Charlie DeRoche getting down the left wing side. DeRoche sending it back to Anna. Anna looks back door. Now for DeRoche, comes back to the point for Durasevich. Durasevich sends it down low. And Anna will chase there for the academy. Buck will come up the boards, but Colin Anna will control there. Anna sends it back to the point. Cross point now for DeRoche. DeRoche with a shot. That deflected high and off the glass. That'll come out far side, and the Avalanche will just ice that down. We'll get a stoppage here. 7.40 left to go in period number two from the Dwyer Rink at the Hotchkiss School in Lakeville, Connecticut. And in looking at the different scenarios this evening, it looks like unless the mid-fairfield Rangers are able to beat Yale by five goals, which seems unlikely, the Yale Bulldogs will advance to the finals uh, even if they lose by less than five goals. So... Um, and the academy would advance over mid-fairfield as well, uh, given the current score here. So it looks like we're going to see a rematch tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. with the academy taking on the Yale Bulldogs. Puck loose in front. Miknich now. Miknich looked to... Looked like he almost tried to pass that off the pad to an oncoming Jake Stapert. And Freitas was able to disrupt that enough and uh, cover up and hang on as he got some help from his defenders. And with 7.16 left to go, 4-0 for the Academy. We'll get a face-off to the right of the Avalanche netminder. Miknich stepping in on the draw. Puck one back to Steele. Steele with a shot. That deflected by Rinaldi, and Rinaldi finds his own deflection as he deflected that down but not in on goal. Turned around, found the puck, and buried that top shelf. So Rinaldi with the hat trick as the Academy takes a 5 to nothing lead here. 7.09 left to go in the second period. Rinaldi with three, Gavers and Silverstein each with a goal. 
And that's where we stand here, a little over halfway through this second period of the final game of the round robin portion of the 2017 New England Regionals. Right wing side. Gordon there. Gordon along the wall. DeSantis now curls. DeSantis skating down low. DeSantis looking back door for Steele. Gives it to Steele. And Frida's able to get over in time there. Gavers sends a cross point now. Covering for Josh Steele. That puck set down low. And now Gordon sends it back to the point. Comes back to Gordon. Gordon skating there. Sent down low. Looking for Steele up high. DeSantis. Shot from a sharp angle, and Freitas will ramp that up into his own glove. He'll glove that one and hang on here. 6.21 left to go. Second period in the academy on top. 5 to nothing. Rinaldi with the hat trick. Gavers and Silverstein with the other two goals. Face off to the right of Freitas. As CBS is wondering if they have insurance on David Boreanis as he comes in behind and looks to pull the plug on the broadcast. <laughs> As Durasevich comes down the wall, gives it for Gavers. Gavers back to Durasevich. Left wing side now. DeSantis with a shot. Right into the bread basket of Freitas. He'll smother and hang on. Another face off to his right. Colin Freitas certainly getting his money's worth this weekend. As it was my understanding, he was peppered probably with 50 plus shots in each of the previous two games. And is. On his way to 50 more here tonight against the Academy 15 Nationals. Chinook at air. As that puck comes back to Gordon. Comes all the way back to Durasevich. Durasevich sends it down low. In behind Freitas. Chinook at air chases there. But the Avalanche will control. And look to skate it up in the, out of the zone. Pass off the wall. That goes too far. But Durasevich will chase into the corner. Durasevich. And now the Academy will send it up to center for Justin Gordon. Gordon coming over. Center ice, Gordon loses the puck there. And now Gordon will pick it up a far side half wall. Gordon walking it off the wall, tries to send it down too low, but a little bit too soft. And Doyle will take there for the avalanche. And we're gonna get a penalty here, penalty call here, as it looks like Chinek and Air is gonna go off for the trip. So with 5.27 left to go here in the second period. The New Hampshire Avalanche will look for a little relief in their own defensive zone. We'll see if they can get some power play time in the zone, but uh, probably just happy to see only four academy skaters out there. As Williams is hooked, skating through a couple of Avalanche defenders. Williams sends it back up the boards, and the academy continues with their zone time here. Now Steele, Steele walking in. That shot is deflected by Rinaldi in front, and Frieda steers that up into the netting. We'll get another stoppage here in a slow-moving second period. 146 left to go on the penalty to Chernek and Air. And they're going to say that Freitas never touched that. That was set directly out of play by Rinaldi, who steps in on the draw for the Academy. Rinaldi chips it ahead for Jack Williams. Williams will chase far corner. Williams with a move there out of the corner. Williams coming down low, sends it back for Steele. Steele with a shot, and Steele tries to go five hole, but Freitas seals that off, and he'll cover up in front. 4.58 left to go here in the second period. 1.31 left to go on the penalty to Trenek and Air. And uh, Williams, Rinaldi, Steele, and Varga out there as Steele is still looking for that first goal on the season. He's come close several times tonight. Williams not able to control there. And back through center comes Wasilak. Wasilak sends that in behind Jung. Varga in behind the net as the Avalanche will shoot that one from a sharp angle, and Bennett Jung, just happy to have some company in the defensive zone, will steer that one aside. Back through center comes the Avalanche, shot in on goal, and that goes off the shoulder of Freitas. Williams, one on four there as he gets some help now from Rinaldi, and the Avalanche will turn that ahead, but the Academy will turn it right back, and Levesque will take for the Avalanche. Levesque sends it for Wasilak. Wasilak right wing side. Wasilak sends it back over cross ice. But now Jack Gordon will take and send it up for Ryan Miknich. Miknich moving it over the zone like Miknich with a shot. And that is a goal. Ryan Miknich scores there. 
and the Academy will take a 6 to nothing lead. As Ryan Mignard scores a shorthanded goal to add insult to injury. And with 36 seconds left on the penalty to Chinek and Air, and 4.03 left to go in the second period, the Academy putting up six on the board. So Miknich, Silverstein, Gavers, and Rinaldi with a hat trick. Austin Cook now skating in behind Jung. Jung sends it right wing side. And that comes to Colin Anna. Colin Anna hooked, held, and hounded there as he comes around behind Jung. Sends it back for DeRoche. DeRoche down the left wing side. As the Academy has had this entire power play shorthanded in the Avalanche zone. DeRoche now overskates that puck. And Austin Cook will skate all the way back into the zone for the Academy. Puck turned over there. Penalty to Chinook Air has expired. 3.23 left to go here as Gordon takes for the Academy. And he looks to send a headman pass for Tyler Silverstein. Silverstein down the right wing side. Silverstein falls down in the corner. He regains his feet, maintains control of the puck, and he battles along the wall. Silverstein protecting the puck, tries to send it over for Charlie DeRoche, and DeRoche will regroup at center as he sends it far side now for Austin Cook. Cook coming up the left wing side. Cook will backhand it down the far side, walking in, shot on goal, and Freitas will glove that one and hang on he'll get a stoppage here 245 left to go and the academy on top six to nothing and you get the sense the academy's trying to walk that fine line between playing too lackadaisically and conserving some energy for tomorrow's game against the Yale Bulldogs puck comes back to the point steered aside by Freitas Orianis in the corner And now Silverstein. Silverstein tries to set it deeper, but now Donahue will control for the Avalanche. He'll chip it back to center where Steele will chip it off the wall for Boreanis. And the puck will come back to Steele at center. Steele sends it in behind for Varga. Check that. That is, no, that is Varga. And now that pass too far by Varga up to Boreanis, and that'll go all the way for an icing. We'll get a stoppage here, 2.01 left to play here in the second period in the Academy on top, six to nothing. Stepping in on the draw for the Academy is Miknich. Miknich, your latest goal scorer in this six nothing hockey game. Durasevich now chases into the corner. That puck will come near side now for Rinaldi. Rinaldi will turn it back deeper for DeRoche. DeRoche will be chased there by Robinson, but the Academy will come out the right wing side. Three on two if they hurry. Pulling up is Williams. Sends it back for Rinaldi. And check that that was Miknich, not Williams. Durasev will chase back into his zone. And will come back through center. Durasevic. Leaves it for Stapert. Stapert in behind Freitas. Stapert now. Sends it back to the point for DeRoche. DeRoche leaves it there for Durasevich. Durasevich skating down the right wing side. Durasevich sends it in behind the goal. And now Miknich sends it up to the point for DeRoche. DeRoche will turn it back for Stapert. Stapert down the left wing side. Stapert drops it back for DeRoche. DeRoche sends it cross blue line to his partner on the other side. Shot it on goal. That's Padded aside by Freitas. Wraparound attempt that goes back into the slot, and the Avalanche will come out of the zone as Donahue will skate in. Donahue turns the corner on DeRoche, and DeRoche with a nice job to take the puck off of his stick. He'll take Do Donahue into the boards and chip for Rinaldi. Rinaldi up now for Mignich. Mignich back through center with Stapert. Mignich will send that in deep, and Burke will chase there for, check that Brown will chase for the Avalanche. Brown, right wing side. Williams now. Williams chasing in the corner. And that puck will come back to center where the Avalanche have a chance at a three or four on two here if they hurry. Coming in over the zone line is Montanil. And he sends that high over the head of Bennett Jung. Bennett looked like he was trying to redirect that with his head. 
And 9.7 seconds left to go. Face off in the academy and to the right of Jung as Chinookit Air will step in on the draw. Number nine will step in with 9.7 left to go. Montanil on the draw for the Avalanche. Chinookit Air ties up his man long enough for the academy to win it. Try to spring Miknich on. Check that Gordon on a breakaway. And now Chinookit Air will come in over the zone line with four seconds left. Chinookit Air will turn the corner. He'll center it. Puck loose in front, and that'll do it for the second period. So the Academy will take a 6-0 lead into the dressing room for the ice cut. And we've got a hat trick by Will Rinaldi, Tyler Silverstein, Felix Gavers, and Ryan Mignich with goals for the Academy. As you are watching game number three at the round robin of the 2017 New England Regional on YouTube. Thanks for being with us this evening. We'll be back in about 15 minutes with third period action. Stay with us, everybody.
Back here at the Dwyer Rink at the Hotchis School in Lakeville, Connecticut. Game three, round robin, 2017 New England Regionals. The Academy on top by a score of six to nothing. And you got a good look there at the New Hampshire Avalanche players who must be absolutely gassed. Got to give these guys credit for coming and competing hard with only 10 players. They only had 15 on their roster to begin with. Or check that 14, nine forwards and five defensemen, one goalie. But obviously down four players here and uh, battling to the end and competing hard as they have uh, had all they could handle here this weekend at the New England Regionals. But congrats to them being the New Hampshire State 15 champions. So since I've been low energy Jeb all evening here, having been up at 5 o'clock this morning to get here for the 7 a.m. Yale tilt, I am joined now by Annabelle Aiken. Annabelle, say hello to everyone at home. Hi. What would you think of those first two periods? They were um, really good. Um, I think we did really well scoring all six goals. All six goals? Did you see who scored any of the goals? Uh, I forget. I know who. I, I think Will scored three. Will scored three. Very good. You're paying attention. Not bad for eight years old. <laughs> Either that or you're sitting with Will's mom who's been pumping Will up to you the entire game. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the Academy with a 6-0 lead here as we look to get going here in the third period and finish up the round robin portion here of the regional. So anytime you want to jump in here in the third period, Annabelle, feel free. Cool. <laughs> So Rinaldi with the hat trick, Gavers, Silverstein, and Miknich also with goals for the Academy for that 6 0 lead as we get set to start the third period here. Freitas to our right and Bennett Jung to our left as off the draw, the Academy will control and Varga now will send it far side for Steele. Steele sends it up for Gordon. Gordon chips it further ahead. Coming in over the zone line is DeSantis. His shot goes wide of goal. DeSantis now will take it. It comes back to Varga. Varga sends it across for Steele. And that comes out of the zone. Offsides will get a stoppage here, 16-44. Was that out of, the, out of the zone, Annabelle? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Good eye, kid. DeSantis now stepping in on the draw. He's out there with Gavers and Justin Gordon, and that'll come back down to Varga off the draw. DeSantis wins that clean. He sends it far side for Steele. Steele strips it off the wall. And in the zone comes Gordon. Gordon two on one. He's got Gavers back door. And Gavers! Felix Gavers with the goal there. A nice pass by Justin Gordon, and Gavers with the backhand deposits that top shot. And that was a impressive goal there by Felix Gavers, so that's his second of the game, and he's also looking for a hat trick here. And off the draw. Sorry, we had a little audio difficulty there. As Stapert now sends it over for Williams. Stapert pressures further there and will keep the puck in the zone far boards. They'll set it down low. But that not far enough for Williams and the Avalanche will chip it back out where Durasevich will control. Durasevich skating right wing side now. Durasevich down the right wing. Durasevich walking in, goes down below the goal line, in behind Freitas. Looks to center for Chinookadair. That pass under his stick as his stick was lifted last second. Jack Williams losing the puck there at the point. And Durasevich will re control and regroup for the Academy just inside his own line. Jake Staper coming down the left wing side. Chinook at air now. Chinook at air looking for Williams in front but doesn't center it. Shot by Stapert. That goes in behind goal. Williams now controls. Gives it back for Stapert. Stapert leaving it for Williams. Williams back for Cook. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the net is off. What would you think of that goal by Felix Gavers, Annabelle? I think it's really good, and also I think the Avalanche is doing really good for how many players they have on the bench. Very good analysis. Very good analysis there. Thank you. 
as uh, the Academy with 15.30 left to go here. On top, 7 to nothing. And Chidekadair will chip it ahead. Williams will chase into the corner. Williams will recover there. Williams walking out of the corner. Down low for Stapert. Stapert sends it back to the point now for Steele. Steele back down low for Stapert. That goes under his glove and around behind Freitas for Williams. Back to Stapert. Stapert not able to corral that one. And it is set up the middle for Pugsley as Varga will chase into the corner. Varga hounded there by two avalanche, but he will escape out of the zone. And Varga coming right wing side. Caden Varga now, centering pass there. Too far for Stapert, comes back to Steele at the point. Steele will walk the line and send it down low for Williams. Williams along the half wall. Williams lifting a stick there, and the avalanche will come up and out of the zone. And Chinookadair will go back and chase for the academy. Mikdich with a shot. That goes wide of Freitas. And Gordon in behind the goal. He'll chase there. Puck will come along the far side boards for Cook. Cook turns it there for Rinaldi. Rinaldi with a shot. That goes wide. In behind the goal is Mikdich. Mikdich circles. Mikdich. Now it goes behind the goal and comes out the far side for Cook. Cook leaves it there for Gordon. Gordon and Cook in the corner now. Cook with the puck. Cook controlling there. And the Academy will control further. DeRoche sending that further into the zone. But now they will control far corner. Puck will come back to Cook at the point. Cook sends it across. And a shot in goal there by DeRoche. Freitas will Cover that up and hang on. And we're going to get a change here in the broadcast booth as we're going to get Bridget Aiken in here on the action. Welcome to the broadcast, Bridget. Hello. Gonna get that microphone a little closer to your mouth. Say that again. Hello. And we'll get your reactions on the game between the next whistles. As the avalanche will skate behind the goal. And that's back through center comes the Avs. But not able to split the D. As that was Wassel out there. And right wing side bodied hard into the end boards. And now the Avalanche will come up and out of the zone. That chip past Varga. And then two on one comes Donahue. Donahue with a pass across. And Bennett Jung scrambling a little bit there as the puck is the Avalanche with their first scoring threat of the game. And now they'll center that. Boreanos will pitchfork that back to the point. Slap shot, that'll go wide of goal. And Varga will send it around now for Steele. Steele sends it ahead for Anna. And that's dumped back in by the Avalanche as Varga takes for the Academy. Left wing side now, coming into the zone. That is Gavers. Gavers with two goals looking for the hat trick here as Doyle controls for the Avalanche. It gets some help there from Robinson as DeSantis comes in to help out for the Academy. DeSantis will take it off the far side wall. DeSantis with a move. DeSantis sends it down low for Durasevich. Durasevich looks to center for a streaking Justin Gordon down the slot. That centering pass is too far. Gavers, nice pass there. And Justin Gordon, Justin Gordon had a wide open net and I don't think he realized it. And by the time he, uh, Got to the far side, Freitas had never moved. Freitas moved on the pass and then never moved back to the left. Bridget, what would you think of that play there? Well, I think it was good, but bad. Good, but bad? Yeah. It was a good play by Justin Gordon in that line. It was bad that it didn't go in the net. Yes. And now DeSantis will skate down the right wing side. DeSantis centering. And the academy is not able to score there as Freitas makes the stop and denies Gavers the hat trick as Gavers was all alone in front and tried to chip it past the six foot one netminder from New Hampshire uh, but he uh, stood tall there and made the save and Gavers will continue to look for that third goal back at center now a couple of academy players run into each other but DeSantis will take the puck he tries to split the D 
And go through two small hole. Puck turned over there, and the Avalanche will come back through center. Near side corner now. Puck will come in behind Jung. Skated out by Charlie DeRoche. DeRoche sends that left wing side for Justin Gordon. Gordon looks for DeSantis in front. Puck comes out, and a shot, a save by Freitas. Another save. Gavers now sends it back to the point. Pass back door for Gordon down low for Boreanis there. Check that DeSantis. 14, not 24. And now Gordon will send that far side for Durasevich. Durasevich back near side for DeRoche. DeRoche with a backdoor pass for Gordon, and that puck goes off his stick. And now DeSantis tries to go short side. DeSantis. DeSantis with the puck in the zone. And DeSantis will send it all the way down. And Durasevich will chase there for the academy. 10.35 left to go here in the third period as Gordon leaves it for Williams and Williams skates down the right wing side. Jack Williams moving to the middle. He's bodied off the puck there by Robinson. And coming down the left wing side is Stapert. Stapert moving into the zone in behind Freitas. Stapert stick handling with the puck there. Sends it back for Varga. Varga's shot goes off as skate there of Wasilak. And now Stapert with a shot that goes wide and DeRoche will chase far corner. DeRoche for Williams, centering pass, and now looking to go back door for Chodekadera. That puck will come back to Varga at the point. And now the Avalanche will set it up and off the netting and out of play. We'll get a stoppage here with 10 minutes even left to go here in the third period. And the Academy on top, 7 and nothing. Gavers with 2, Rinaldi with 3, Mcnich and Silverstein also with goals. Bridget, your thoughts? Well, I think it's go very going well for the Academy and... I think it's just going good for the academy. Good point. And off the draw, Stapert will control. Stapert will send it back to Varga at the point. Varga's shot goes off the stick of Wasilak, and Wasilak will clear it out of the zone. Stapert chips it back for Varga. Now for Chinekadair. Chinekadair over the red line, over the blue line, and he'll skate down the left wing side. Chinekadair looks for Williams in front. He chips further for Stapert. Stapert will send it back to Steele. Steele sends a puck off a skate. And now Stapert along the wall will chip it further. But the puck in the feet of the New Hampshire Avalanche defender, and he will chip it on out of the zone as Varga will step up and sends it for Chinecadera. Chinecadera down the right wing side. Chinecadera over for Gordon. And another save by Freitas there as Gordon looked to have that label. But Freitas got a glove or a right pad on it, and he turns that aside. And the, the academy remains up by a touchdown with 9.06 left to go here in the third period. Puck along the near side corner. Chinecadera coming out of the zone. Chinecadera feeds for... Looked like Williams, and uh, that puck is knocked off a of Williams stick, and the Avalanche will come out of the zone. Robinson now. Robinson skating over the blue line. Robinson chips it further. Steele will send it around for Varga far side. And Stapert, they'll chip it back to Steele, who sends it up for Williams. Williams further for Chinecanair. Chinecanair gets around the defenseman there. Chinecanair walking in front. Chinecanair with a shot short side. Looked like he had an opening there, but Freitas will stop that one and turn it aside. And a shot in on Jung. Jung will glove that and hang on. 8.24 left to go here, third period, and the Academy on top. 7 to nothing. As we will re-welcome Annabelle Aiken back to the broadcast booth. Hi, I'm back. Good to see you, Annabelle. What would you think of that play while you were away? Uh, Let's hold that thought for a second as Rinaldi's tripped and Rinaldi loses the puck and gets tripped up and we're going to get a penalty call here. And the Academy will go on the power play with 8.13 left to go here in the third period. What would you think of that trip there and the effort by Will Rinaldi? I think it was a pretty good trip. Um, good call by the ref too. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I appreciate your thoughts. Very well put. Faceoff will come to the left of Colin Freitas. 8.13 left to go. The Academy on top by a score of 7 to nothing. As the Academy will go on the power play. <coughs> DeSantis walking off the wall. DeSantis looks to send it back door for DeRoche. And that goes too far off the wall and back to center as Cook will retrieve and regroup for the Academy. DeRoche sends it right side for Cook. Cook moving in. Cook with a dangle. And a left pad stop there by Freitas. Nice move by Cook, but Freitas equal to the task. And now that puck will come back to DeRoche at the point. He'll leave it for Cook. 
Cook will give it back to DeRoche. DeRoche looking for Chinook and Air. Chinook and Air into Santos along the near side boards. DeSantis walking out of the corner. DeSantis sends it behind the goal for Williams. Williams looks back door for Chinook and Air. Chinook and Air for DeSantis, and DeSantis had a wide open net and shanked that shot wide of goal there. And Nick DeSantis shrugs his shoulders and looks up at the ceiling on that one. That will come back to Cook. Cook gives it to Chinook and Air. And Chinook and Air back for Williams now. Back for Chinook and Air. Chinook and Air down low for Williams. Williams gives it back door for DeRoche. And not sure whether that went wide or Frieda's got a piece of it. But a nice puck movement there by the Academy. Chinook and Air back to Cook. Cook at the point, sends it back down for Chinook and Air. Chinook and Air looking for DeRoche far side. DeRoche will gather that puck back in and give it to DeSantis. DeSantis coming off the wall, gives it to Williams. Williams chipping out for DeSantis. And a nice play there as DeSantis pots the goal to make it 8 nothing Power play goal for the Academy. And a little bit of a dry spell there for Nick DeSantis, so got to feel good to put that puck in the net again there as he was wondering, I think, on the previous pass attempt if he was a little bit snake bit. But he buries that one there, and DeSantis is on the board this weekend as the Academy takes an 8 to nothing lead with 6.45 left to go. What'd you think of that goal, Annabelle? I think it was really good, and also I think the Avalanche, I, like I said before, the Avalanche are doing really well with only five players on their bench, and I think the goalie's doing really well too. Very good. Colin Frias, of course, under fire this entire game, made a lot of quality saves, and uh, not much he can do with a beleaguered and tired group of 10 in front of him, although still battling hard here in this third period. And... Uh, as you saw during the intermission, not even enough energy to head back to the dressing room. They felt it was best just to conserve energy and stay on the bench. Robinson now comes over the blue line. Colin Anna tripped up there. And we're going to get a call here. And I think the referees at this point just looking for safety and letting the players know if an infraction is committed, we are going to call it so that everyone gets out of here in one piece. Silverstein not able to pick up that puck, and it's turned over, and we'll get a tripping call here with 5.57 left to go. Annabelle, what do you think of that call? Um, it was a really good goal. Um, I don't think there's really much the goalie could do about it. So, that's what the penalty. Oh, we're off the goal. We're talking about that penalty there, that tripping call. Did you just say goal? What did you think about that goal? No penalty call. Oh, never mind. Um, Duro Savage now sending it over for Varga. Varga back for Durasevic. Durasevic sends it down low. Gavers walking in. Gavers with a shot. And Freitas will smother that one and hang on. 5.44 left to go. Minute 47 left to go on the Academy power play. Gavers looking for the hat trick. Gavers with two. Rinaldi with three. Miknich, Silverstein, and DeSantis with goals. And that puck will come back to Durasevic at the point. Durasevic looking there. Sends it near side for... Gavers, Gavers back for Durasevich, Durasevich far side. Walking in, shot by DeSantis, checked out by Varga, 4 not 14 as Coach Scott Ganey yelling from the bench back door. And Durasevich will send it there, and Silverstein in front will tip that home for his second goal of the game. So three Academy players with multi-goal efforts today, and the score is now 9-0 with 521 left to go. So Silverstein with two, Gavers with two, Rinaldi with three, Miknich and DeSantis with goals for the Academy. What'd you think of that goal, Annabelle? That was a goal. Yeah, it was really good. The same thing I said last time when I, we weren't talking about a goal. Um, the goalie had really nothing to do about it again. Whoa. Uh, another goal there as we had audio difficulties, our apologies. Another goal there as Silver as Silverstein gets the hat trick there. And Tyler Silverstein gets his third goal of the night. So Silverstein and Rinaldi each with hat tricks. As he scores two goals back to back, bang, bang. And the Academy now with a 9-0 lead here with 4.53 left to go. Check that 10-0 lead. Lost track of count here. They didn't put up one of the goals earlier, so 
We'll get to the goal scorers in just a minute. We've got 10 of them, 10 goals scored for you. As the academy battles on the far side wall. And a big hit there by Gordon. Uh, Silverstein and Gordon now in the far corner. And Silverstein will center it in front for Boreanis. And Boreanis pokes at the loose puck. And that puck is loose as the teams need to play till the whistle. And Colin Friedis there, again, under siege. Ten goals in this hockey game, but probably 100 shots. And so the academy, again, Gavers with two, Silverstein with three, Rinaldi with three, Miknich and DeSantis with goals. Those are your ten goals this evening. And Austin Cook will skate down low. He'll leave it over for uh, Miknich, rather, back for DeRoche. Down low for Miknich, further for Boreanis. Behind the net as Bridget Aiken rejoins the broadcast. Welcome back, Bridget. Hey. DeRoche sends it far side. Cook will control there. Or that's Staper, rather, 22, not 20. Cook is at the point. Staper down below, just in front of him. And Cook will now control at center, come back over the blue line. Puck turned over there, but kept in by the academy as DeRoche will send it deeper for Boreanis. Boreanis chasing in the corner. And now Miknich, far corner. Now DeRoche, DeRoche sending it down low. Centering pass there for DeRoche. That's turned over and back the other way come the Avalanche. And not much left for the Avalanche to play for in this game except for Pride and possibly trying to spoil the shutout, but Bennett Jung will deny them there as he makes a save. And coming back in the zone is the Academy. Shot short side by Staper that goes off the post. The Academy will glove it, but the Avalanche will control and come back out as Donahue will come through center ice. Donahue sends it across far side. And now Miknich for the Academy. Miknich up for Cook. And now Cook will skate down the right wing side. Austin Cook for the Academy. And now DeSantis in the corner. DeSantis. DeSantis battling there. DeSantis now comes off the wall. Says it for Anna. Anna didn't look like he was ready for that pass. It goes through his skates. And the Avalanche try to come out of the zone, but Ann a good hustle there to keep in the zone. And he will take it further, tripped up, but they're not going to call that centering pass there for DeSantis. And DeSantis will score. And it is now 11-0 the Academy. Nick DeSantis with his second goal of the game. 2.05 left to go. And the Academy with an 11-0 lead here. As Nick DeSantis added to the list of multi-goal scores for the Academy. So Silverstein, Rinaldi, DeSantis... And Gavers all with multiple goals for the Academy. Silverstein and Rinaldi both with hat tricks. DeSantis and Gavers each with two. And Miknich adding a goal for 11 0. And that puck will come back in the zone. And the Academy will regroup there and look to come out. And Chudek and Air skating up the right wing side. Chudek and Air. And Gordon chips it further. Puck is loose in front. Chudek and Air. Far side wall, and that's set it on Fridas. He'll cover up and hang on. Annabelle, your thoughts on the performance by the Academy tonight? Sorry, Bridget, I'm sorry. Um, the Academy is doing very well. Great passes, great great possession of the puck, great shot. So it's been very good for the Academy. Very good, Annabelle. Bridget. Oh, sorry, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little tired. I, I was thinking. And back in the zone come the Avalanche. Shot in on goal, and that leaks through Jung, and the Avalanche will score. And so they do spoil the shutout for Bennett Jung. As the Academy giving up a late goal here, and they score now 11 to 1. That was a really good goal um, for... 
for the Avalanche because they only have five players on the bench. So let's see what happens. Not sure what's going on with our audio here this evening, but uh, I'll try to get that corrected for you by tomorrow morning's game. And so an 11 to 1 score here as Chidek and Air sends it back door for <laughs> Steele. And the Academy now in behind the goal. Set out front for Chidek and Air. Chidek and Air down low. Orianis. That chipped in our goal. Still loose in front, and Freitas will finally cover up and hang on with 55.8 seconds left to go here. And a face-off to the right of Freitas. So, Annabelle, you can take us home for the final 55.8 seconds. Want to do a little play-by-play -play here? Describe the action. You don't need to describe the players. Just talk about what's happening with the puck. Go ahead. Okay. Um, um, pass to Cook. Uh, Cook passes to Zero Savage. Zero Savage um, passes to, I can't see, 37? <laughs> That's Gavers. Gavers. Gavers turns it over. Avalanche gets it. Um, Controls it, tries to get it over the blue line. Um, gets it over, almost, yeah, gets it over the blue line. He passes, he turns it over to Cook. Um, Cook to Staper. Cook Staper, to Staper looking for a shot. Puck is loose. That goes in behind the goal. Nice job, Annabelle. As I'll take over for the final 10 seconds here. And back the other way come the Avalanche. We'll get Bridget in on the post game analysis in just a second. And that'll do it. So the Academy with an 11 to 1 victory here. And they will look forward to playing the Yale Bulldogs, I believe, unless Mid Fairfield had a miraculous 5 plus goal victory against, Mid -Fair against the uh, Yale Junior Bulldogs up at Berkshire School this evening. But it looks like the Academy and Yale will have a rematch tomorrow morning as they will play for the fifth time this season. The Academy with a 3-1 and one record, but of course losing this morning by a score of 4-3. to three. Dad, one sec. And Didn't Mid Fairfield forfeit? No, Mid Fairfield did not forfeit. The game got moved to Berkshire School. Oh. All right. Now let's throw it over to Bridget Aiken for some post-game analysis. Bridget, your final thoughts on the game. The game was very, very good for the Academy. They got great shots, great possession of the puck, great moves, great passing. And they had possession of the book a lot, that which developed them and gave them a lot of chances to score, which helped them win. Thank you very much. That's excellent analysis. So, your final score here from the Hotchka School in Game 3 of the Round Robin of the 2017 New England Regional is your Selects Academy 15 Nationals 11 and the New Hampshire Avalanche 1. Goal scores for the Academy were Rinaldi with 3, Silverstein with 3, DeSantis with two, Silverstein with two, and Miknich with one. Those were your 11 goal scorers, so four multiple goal scorers, two hat tricks, and the Academy cruising to their 25th win of the season. So the Academy now 25-3-1 on the season. They go 2-1 and one in this round robin portion of the New England Regionals, and they will face, again, I could be wrong, but I would bet money that they will face the Yale Bulldogs tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. on the NHL rink at the Berkshire School. We'll have that one live for you on YouTube. Thanks for being with us this evening, everybody. Glad you were with us for this New England Regional Ice Hockey action. I'm Wells Aiken. Once again, your final score for the final time and also for Bridget and Annabelle Aiken. The Selects Academy 15 Nationals 11 and the New Hampshire Avalanche 1. Thanks for joining us and have a good night, everybody.